This thing, for all who don't know, is called a diddly bow. It's just a piece of wood with a string nailed on it. And this here is my Christmas decorations. And this is a handle from a 75 Chevrolet van. It has absolutely no function. And this is a can of Jolly Green Giant Corn. I'm gonna do that. And these are generally um, the one string instruments you'll find, uh, come in a lot of different varieties, but um, traditionally called diddly bows, um, which uh, I've heard Bo Diddley got his name from the diddly bow, uh, from learning uh, to play on one. And this particular um, design is basically a large piece of cedar 
and it's got a guitar slide for a bridge, uh, an electric single coil pickup, and a hole that the tuning peg is put into. It's got a screw up here that acts as a nut and uh, somewhat of a headstock, you could say. And that's about it. Uh, you plug in right here. This doesn't have frets, so it's, uh, it's dependent on the slide to, to produce all of the different changes in pitch. But he does have it marked in uh, what's called a diatonic, uh, pretty much a diatonic pattern, which is uh, the major scale. So. But there are, uh, there are still a lot of notes in between there, and especially in blues music, you don't hear a lot of blues music that strictly follows the diatonic scale. This is uh, just a C, so it's easy to tune, uh, it's easy to tune these because I guess, <laughs> again, unless I'm playing with someone else, uh, on an instrument like the diddly bow, you don't really have to stay in tune with anybody else, so you can tune to uh, basically any any tension that feels good to you and, and that can hold the slide. Um, the one thing to look out for on, on these instruments is uh, if you press it in too hard, you can cut yourself off um, on the pickup. But that's about the only thing you have to worry about on this, but you still have to worry about playing in tune and you can still use a lot of the techniques that we talked about with the slide, um, only you're using them on your lap now. And one of those techniques, again, is um, that, I, that I use when I play the diddly bow is, is basically how you're plucking it. I pluck with my thumb and then my finger. So you can come up with, with the rhythms like that. And it's good just to practice with, without even using the slide if you're trying to practice your right hand technique. And when you're playing with one string, it's important that you, I think, have some kind of rhythm that, that drives what you're doing, unless you're really just playing something slow and, and almost like, and almost vocal. It's good to, you need that sort of feeling like there's a drummer playing with you, even if there's not. And so um, it's kind of what I do if I, if, for example, if I played a... So again, it's almost like my hand is, my hand is the drum and... kind of get a sense of that rhythm. Sometimes I'll do a, a triplet, which again is just something you have to do over and over again until it becomes second nature. same vibrato techniques and I like to put my finger down sometimes on the uh, on the wood itself to give myself a reference point um, like we were talking about anchoring and you can also anchor with your fingers back here do uh, different things like that another way also if you want to use your traditional technique just 
play it like a guitar, um, and you can, some people fashion sort of straps that you can use like that to play it traditionally like that, so. And um, so this one is, a, I think, a low E string or A string from a guitar, and with these, because they have the electric guitar pickups, you need to use the electric guitar strings for that to sound right as opposed to an acoustic string. But I do have uh, another one here just to demonstrate. It's the same design, same, uh, basically the same instrument. But this has an unwound uh, electric guitar string with some, um, you know, much higher string. Like Steve said, a lot of times all you need is just a string, a stick, and a box. And there's a long tradition in roots music of musicians starting out on instruments just like these. Uh, this is in America, it's called a one string diddly bow. And you play it, it doesn't have any frets to fret with. You don't actually hold your finger against the string, you play it with a slide like this uh, ceramic Rocky Mountain slide I've got right here. You pluck down here, just like a guitar, and when you want to change pitch, since you don't have frets, you put that slide against the string, Thank you. 
Here I've got the uh, one string diddly bow and as embarrassed as I am to admit it and needless to say I did make this myself. Uh, not that you'd go out and spend money on something that looks as shoddy as this. But uh, simply run through how I made it. We've got a cigar box for the body here. We've got um, a banister rail that I've cut down for the neck. We've got a teaspoon to hold on the string there and uh, then it's just the one string. <laughs> try to demonstrate how we play it. <laughs> I've been walking all my life away I've been walking I've been walking
Oh, <laughs> 